Kai Z's hero. And it starts here, the grand finals of this Korean qualifier for the Stars War 11. Both these players qualified. Some additional prize money on the line. Hero smirk in a little bit as the game starts up. Cheeky cheeky, as my good friend Kalaris might say. As we have ourselves. Top left, Maru, top, bottom right, hero. And number one of this best of seven starting up on site. That was one of the more understood maps to begin with, at least. Get this underway, see where we go. A couple of racks coming through, then the gases are coming up as well, so we get all of that started. Second gas not going down just quite yet. That's set to go. With double racks, it's kind of a bit of an interesting opening. It does mean that we're going to see things go a little bit differently to what you might typically expect. So things will be, like I say, a little bit uh, not the norm in that regard. There's going to be Reapers, so we will see a bit of Reaper pressure, and we'll see if Hero can handle that or Hero can find some work to kill. It's going to be the question mark. First Reaper popping out shortly. Obviously, the first Reaper timing is not weird. It's when the second Reaper shows up. That's when things are going to start getting a little bit funky in this situation. That's when things are going to start being a little bit like, huh, this is not adding up in Hero's mind. So let's we'll see how that goes as we take a quick moment to spot the sponsors here yeah, from the beautiful Stars War event. Again, offline tournament, May 18th and May 19th. We'll be uh, featuring the players, Gumiho, Maru, Hero. Skillless, Spirit, Showtime, Firefly, and Oliveira. That's everyone that's going to be playing in that, so... Should be fun. Look forward to that, absolutely. Oh, the can's already building from here. We get that on the way. The next is just now finishing up on the natural as well. Probe still moving around. Getting settled for a little bit. The Adept gets there. Reaper going to get turned around as well. <coughs> Excuse me. This Reaper's moved through. Going to grab ourselves a Probe. The Adept still it's a little bit on the move for the moment. And this is the problem. We can't keep up with these Reapers and their different jumping paths. However, now we will get rid of one Reaper. That's going to take the kill time from the uh, on the Probes to be an extra shot, which just means... There's a significant amount less going down, but this is still pretty reasonable. Oh, the battery. Saving that one. We're going to come back here in the main where there is going to be one hurt probe. For the picking, we get it just before the Reaper goes down. So the three Reaper hit squad nets six workers. That's obviously a very good start. So Hero taking some damage early. Maru now continuing to utilize the fact he's on double racks by getting the stim pack already. Combat shields full steam ahead. He's on three racks and he is powering through into that bio play. So from the Reaper Harass, he's going to follow it up aggressively and try and take advantage of the early work of damage he's already done. It's hard enough to hold a three racks in the first place. Now hold a three racks after taking eco damage because those Reapers guaranteed it. We will at least first see Hero being the aggressor, and it's going to be a little bit before Stim has done the first blink or two, perhaps, so we might be able to definitely find some openings. We will see. What have sentence that is. We might be able to definitely. Oh. <laughs> that is uh, not quite the combination of words. And as you see, a few stalkers popping around. Get set up and ready to roll. Just see where we're taking things in these early moments. Stalkers come in, a few SCVs are going to continue to take some shots as four workers going down. Marines are going to continue over. I'm just going to be seeing those continue to move through. Well, this is nice. I mean, Hero gets in for a good amount of work. It's got to love that. 
right? Just any work it kills here gonna slow down Mario's pressure. And Mario's gotta consider as well, does he wanna go across the map against someone who still has the prism here? Able to come back in. Can he get across the map? Stalkers may get a few shots on the way. Here's Hero getting an immortal ready, so you will have something a little bit sturdier at home to help him along the way as well. So that's also a big benefit that we've got coming up right now. We'll just continue to drop in and a good micro so far, really just picking them up on low HP. Very nicely done. Prism continues to move about. So you can see the battle continue to come through. Stalk is going to continue to come back around. We have ourselves, Mara and Hero, still kind of going toe to toe because Mara's not going to be able to break through for anything. These I units actually may be a little bit in trouble. I guess there's only the Prism and four Stalkers chasing anything more, and they would have been in trouble because they had no get out of get out of jail card. Essentially, they are kind of stuck being chased by Blink Stalkers. There's just enough of them to fight the number of Blink Stalkers currently chasing, which is that only saving grace. There's the Forge plus one, the Extended Thermal Lance, and that Roman Way continue up as well. Continue to bring that in. The rest of the bio continues to come around here. So I see a few more Stalkers lifting up into that prism. That bio pulling all the way back to the natural. Stalkers are there, Marauders taking some shots. Let's see the bio just pulling back up to the high ground once more. Stalkers have to blink back nigh on immediately. Prism continues to sit tight just for a moment or so. Some more sentries get warped in. Probe's still moving about again, plus one extended thermal lance charge all coming through. Got ourselves a couple of additional gateways still coming about. Another zealot and a sentry warping in. Just getting bits and pieces on the go. Colossus comes back home as well. And this hero wants to be aggressive. I mean, this is basically just saying, hey, you opened three racks, and now I feel like you didn't get much out of it, and I've got the tech units to really punish you. But not really having tech units yourself. Maru walks into this, loses two marauders. Marauders is specifically the important part of that, because they are the units that are likely going to be able to kind of really make a difference on Colossi. And, well, hero just says, cool. Map control, take a third. It's a very late third, obviously. Just don't think you can go up this ramp. There's a narrow ramp, there's bunkers, and there is going to be the Colossus, uh, the siege tanks as well. So, yeah, I don't think we can get away with moving up here. Here has to blink back from that tank as it got sieged. So yeah, hero is gonna uh, have to blink back just a little bit. Do you see the storm is gonna try and get aggressive once again? Tank, Marines, Marauders, the Vikings continue to come through for the moment. Stalker's getting knocked out. Gonna see a couple of Zelts gonna start moving their way in as well. Clover are gonna get to the front. They're gonna try and do a lot here as our Stalkers come forward. Gonna go after some of these other units. Plus, I continue to do a great job of just fighting away, and this is the problem. Maru moving out. He's always gonna have to contend with these Colossi. We do not get the pickup on the last Colossus, though. There's still a tank here as we play the cleanup game. Tank will now finally go down. Last few units getting cleaned up. Maru's supply, I mean, he's up quite a few workers, is the big difference that Hero does not have an answer for just yet. The Hero cleans up army wise. And I wonder if he's got enough to go and harass that third base. This is a bit more of an open space, so I'm not as confident about the tank base defense for Maru as compared to last time the hero was across the maps. So this may be the opening that hero needs to really try and tuck in and take advantage. In fact, pull back a little. See how our stalker's blinking straight through. I mean, there's just nothing to shoot this Colossus. If this Colossus gets delayed this entire time, it's going to have a very, very good time. That much is for sure, and that's going to be a big part of the reason why we find ourselves GG's. Game number two, we get this started up. It is going to be Maru trying to bounce back from the deficit as Hero takes the 1 0 lead.
Keep it comes up. Gateway gets going. There you see now. Gate coming in. And CV coming around. Sign up that Reaper block off as well into Oceanborn. Sight out of Oceanborn really becoming kind of the standards of the best of three picks lately. Uh, really have become some of the, the maps that have found some love. They were kind of normal and fairly often played in the past, and obviously with new maps, it's likely to be that you go to kind of the old standard anyways first, so these first couple of weeks of new pa patch, new maps, it's not surprising to see the more familiar, for more familiar maps oftentimes coming through, if not just in best of threes, but then early on in best of fives, best of sevens, when there's a lot of different maps being picked. As I said before, comes online, but on the way. Myra's build is a little bit funky as well. Look at that cheeky little CC first into now double racks. Right, all right. Way to mix it up. A couple of racks continue to come through. Just seeing our CC finishing very shortly as well. Nexus adapt all on the way. There's double orbital coming up. So yeah, I mean CC first just does what CC first does. You can from CC first play the factory follow up as well, where you just go racks then factory. With double racks, it does once again indicate that kind of faster play in a bio, similar to last game when you open with those three reapers on the two barracks, then you're led leading into that bio more quickly after. This has a similar vibe to it. Just gonna be the factory, no third racks though. We'll see where we go. Upgrade should be able to start fairly early as well, moving towards Stim early in the game. Can obviously be a very powerful way to play out of the P uh, TVP. So the recent patch changes affect the pro player's win percents. Too early to say, really. The Marines continue to pull back, the Adepts continue to hunt. See one marine already gonna take a bit of damage. And bunker coming up at the front as well. As you leave that goes down. Depth still chasing in. The marines will continue to be hunted for a little bit. We're not gonna see a couple of those marines dropping down already. Now the adepts continue back through deeper into the main base. Fighting once again, the still taking some damage. Two SEVs being picked off. It's gonna see the Oracle still coming around. Also, Stimpak coming through the Cyclone, the Marines all coming up as well. Four SCVs on the way out. The Cyclone just still chilling the main. Am I gonna cast the full Maru Hero series? Yes. Max Max Oliveira will not start until this ends. I told them that we start when this tournament ends, so. Don't uh, change anything with uh, with that. Scheduled it so we can cast this full best at seven. Lovely. As you see, the couple oracles flying through. We're gonna activate onto the cyclone. It's gonna go down, but it took a little while, which means one oracle will go down to the marines, and we get a single SCV out of this. I mean, it's nice to knock a cyclone. Okay, we get a second. Now we get a marine as well. Okay, pop off then. We got a third SCV. Okay, Oracle, keep going. I was just about to slay you for saying, you know, be like, ah, you weren't that good. Did you really, you know, were you really worth losing your buddy for? Well, you know what? Maybe you were. Maybe you were lose worth losing your buddy for. Maybe it was actually okay. Teacher Chan coming through. A couple of devs keep coming about. Marines keep coming over, and we just have the Oracle activating once again to pick off a Marine. SCV is now taking damage also. 10, 11 work is about to be going down, so that's 11 SCVs picked off. Miss Altar is there to push the Oracle back as well, so that also gets shoved away for the moment. This is huge, I mean, that's a lot of work and damage dealt, so now you're really in the wounded kind of bay as Maru. You're down a bunch of workers, 
Hero is on three bases. He's going to be powering up his work account very shortly, so he's not slowing down. Now, this is this is trouble for Maru. He is in not too hot of a spot. And uh, mix it up a bit as we actually do lose an Oracle at least, so something goes Maru's way. He gets rid of an Oracle after it's already done so much damage. But hey, it does mean less information available on the map now. There's that turret firing, the Oracle still taking damage. Battery's finishing up out the front. Still push forward, the battery <coughs> gets taken down as our Marines still push forward. Zealots sentry, the Phoenix still getting chased back as well. And we're gonna get a moment to actually charge forward. We have enough here. Phoenix have to take the, the tanks. The Zealots holding their own decently, but it's a lot of Marines, which means that the Zealots do end up taking a lot of damage. And the Zealots get cleaned out with a bunker up as well. We can fall back on that if needed. Hero needs to get reinforcements here, and he needs them here right now, otherwise, he is in trouble. He's going to come in once again. This time, the Zelda's are going to be up against low HP Marines, but again, the moment you hit that bunker, you're just going to be halted in terms of chasing. You do not have the numbers to fight into a bunker. That much is for certain. We're going to go once again here. This is where the Phoenix is going to commit to get rid of the Medivacs. They're kind of out of energy anyways. As we do see the Zelda's again just fighting in bunker range. They can't break through that bunker. And that means a few more Zelda's go down. Hero is having Maru catch him up in SCVs during this as well, which is not pretty because now he's going to lose probes too. And it looks though Maru's probably got it done on this push across the map after Hero did a lot to deal damage early. Maru just brushes it away and says, doesn't matter to me. I am very ready to go no matter what is that Phoenix pick up. And we try and chase down a few units, but the Widow Mines, kaboom, kaboom, that's a double kill. And just as you need everything to be kind of going your way as Hero, that's going to be a massive halter. He will maybe have an army right now, which has still got potential, but again, another bunker is going to be the bane of Hero. That's something you just cannot justify stopping to bust through at the moment. So yeah, you can't really stop to kind of make your way through there. That's going to be one of the problems, absolutely. Oh, so it's continue to come across once again, try and chase. As soon as Mario leaves his base, Hero's like, okay, I want to fight! But of course, Mero has the ability to kite backwards to his uh, bunker and everything, so looking good in that regard. The Vark is coming up, plus two armor is on the way, the sentry and the probes will continue to produce. Our storm is already building as well. back around into the center just gonna be looking again see what they can do looking to try and get on top of that medevac or so but nothing really comes of that Phoenix firing medevac so we'll take a few shots of damage it's gonna be seeing the bio still coming around and it's just going to see the Phoenix continue to punch around a little bit as well. So, just trying to bully this army from coming across the map. But I don't think Maru is ever going to be truly dissuaded. Storm is done soon. When we get Storm, obviously there's more of a chance here from Hero. But I'm still not going to say it's looking beautiful and pretty. And it's still looking pretty rough for him as the Storm comes in. Beautiful split as well. Oh my god. Well, you kind of need the Storm to hit at the very least. That did not happen. And that's obviously a pretty darn big deal. The Widow Mines put some work in. This storm is a little bit better. We still have Widow Mines around the back. Every single Phoenix has gone down in this process, so you lose a lot of the tech units here as Hero, and even if you push this wave back, the follow-up attack is likely to still be looking good for Maru. Yes, there are storms. Yes, there are high temple you have to circumvent, but I mean, at this point, Maru could probably just drop the Ghost Academy down during this as well. Hero is taking a fourth during this, though. So that that is a factor as well, right? Get a fourth base, and... Maybe if Maru doesn't actually break you down, you do eventually take that advantage back a little bit, but I'm not believing that he doesn't, uh, you know, break through, but maybe I should be. Hero actually gets a wraparound on this army, coming in from all different angles. Storm forces him back a little further. If you get chased here, the Medivacs will get blinked on and killed as well. Well, it won't actually, because we don't have blink, but we can still chase a little. Can we come around from that other side once again? We've got Zealots reinforcing from a proxy gateway on the other side. So they're going to come in for the wrap, and this is going to be a jump, and there's feedbacks on the medevacs, as we are going to find a couple of these medevacs now, so some damage being dealt. Oh man, Hero is absolutely on a push right here. Maru just does not have the moment or two to stabilize. So 
starting to get a couple of ghosts up. Zealot Stalker on the front doorstep. I don't know if we can really keep going as hero, but now this is where him having a fourth base is a big deal as well. Something else for him to just fall back to, have to take an advantage by pushing across the map. What an absolute dream as a few Zealots got up in front again. We are saving, I think, one EMP. We drop on the Zealots right now, try to soften them up, trying to make this a more engageable situation. SCV's had to pull into this as well. Hero is just not going to stop. He's going to keep going, but he doesn't have enough to really keep going. I mean, 13 SCV is killed, but now my hero is finding himself way down in army. This really is, I think, the point where hero has to stop, drop, and just go back home. I was going to say roll, but I realized I don't even know what hero is. I'm saying with hero drop. For some reason, I just wanted to shout, stop, drop, and roll. Great casting. 10 out of 10 moment as we see the Robo Facility and plus one attack upgrade on the floor still coming through. Stop, drop, and roll back home. Yeah, something like that, I guess. Yeah. The situation is a little bit on fire because he kept losing army. Now his army supply is down by 40. So I think he just went for a little bit too long. I think once he killed those 13 SCVs, he should have been trying to run the hell away. If he runs straight back home, he can threaten to run by with Zealots if Maru just chases him. So that should have been able to keep Maru back. Instead, now you get Dove on the other side. You do not have the units here. Uh, Bean Bio just continues to fight and next continues to fall. Now coming over, Medivacs continue to set up. Storks are still coming around. Continue to get settled in just for the moment here. SCV is still coming, a couple of Zelts coming through. The rest of the Bio is still coming about as well. Extra Zelts are still on the way. Battery continues to do some healing. It's just too much bio. This is going to go to 1-1. One, one. We're going to get tied up across the course of this best of seven. Love to see it as the probes pull in. Back and forth game. Could have been anyone's at different points. In the end, it is going to belong to Maru's hero. Nearly brought it back. Couple of it. Maru's our blue Terran. Hero is our red Protoss. Got this. I'm going. Team number three. Amphion is the map. Let's to see what our build is about to be. Because the prize money difference between first and second place is not super pretty in this. Like, it, it's almost. <laughs> I've already talked about it a little bit, but it is a little bit weird. Like, it's uh, definitely not best of seven worthy. The only reason I would say it's actually worthwhile kind of doing this is truly if you use first place, you give them a better seed in the tournament. So, maybe that is how you use it. Maybe first place gets a better seed. Maybe there's that in addition to a bit of prize money, so. Leave an orbital all coming through the cyber core building right now from Hero. There's no better seed for winning. There might be, I don't know. It's not my tournament. There may very well be. I can say I'm just not sure. That would be a good way to justify it. I think it's also just going to be a single elimination tournament. So I don't know how much a better seed really... I guess if you win this, you can only be played against a third place of a different qualifier or something. But then, if only one player qualified for major, do they just naturally get a worse seed? Like, you know what I mean? There's no... Um, there's no easy way to say it.
As soon as we get up and running, we get this set to go. And we have ourselves Twilight Council already coming through from Hero. A more probes coming up. Stalker on the way. Once we get coming around, we see that blink continue to come about here. TT building just in the high ground, so we're gonna go triple CC nice and quickly. Macro play already setting up from Maru's point of view. Coming up, probe, sentry, all on the way in. We get all of that on the go now. It's going to be seen again. We're finishing up the front again. Plus one attack and stim. Continue to come through as well. even doesn't make sense yeah I, I don't think it does I, I don't think you can I don't know the whole the <laughs> look they run tournaments differently over in China okay to be fair these are the guys that ran the Kung Fu Cup massive prize pool open cup every week and didn't add season for it for about six years so <laughs> to be fair in that regard maybe we should just uh, accept what it is the players are here they're playing that's all we have to really do. Enjoy the fact that these guys are going to play some games for us. That means we are set. The bio upgrades come through, and we're waiting for Mary to be set with those until he likely gets onto the map to try and make something happen. Hero's trying to hallucinate some information into play. So the drops into place. Again, the next is coming through, finishing soon. 1-1 one, one coming up. The charge is on the way. It's all of that getting started as well right now. So far, uh, so good for the moment. Stalker's grab a marine already. He's just going to be nabbing that. Fire comes across. Stalker's going to get chased. Rest of the the center, he's just hanging out. Over on the left hand side, so they're gonna settle in a little bit. Hallucinated Colossus is gonna move through. Hallucination well, can actually provide some high ground vision here. It's fun because they've both expanded to the left hand side. So you're gonna have a very aggressive game between these two because they're both expanding towards each other. I think this is the first time I've actually seen both players kind of expand toward each other in this kind of a manner. So that's fun to see. This map really has given you so many different ways for kind of like expansions to pan out. It's been very fun. And this map really has been one of my favorites. Medivax going to go chasing down the prism over here, but you have to make sure you don't give up too much on the low ground because then Hero can push in, which he's trying to do. I am assuming we're going to go look at that. Couple force field zealots in front. I think that's enough bio, though. I think we are going to be absolutely fine. Hero has to pull back. Good defense from Maru. Never pulled too much out of the way as Maru sits in a good worker lead. Hero, what are we doing? Why is our work come so bad? Is it just because we're trying to really send it with all these units? No gases, so he doesn't need as many workers in that regard. But I just don't think he's got that overwhelming kind of factor that you usually see with this kind of style. That said, he's just got rid of 16 SCVs, so the worker kill count is going to help him. However, he is going to lose the majority of the army while doing this. Does he have a follow-up? Well, he has a Dark Shrine finishing soon, but if Mary controls those DTs, I think Hero's in trouble. He needs something to kind of buy him some time, and the DTs might be that. But if they aren't, then Maru might just be across the map and poking into Hero's base sooner than Hero would like him to be. So, now yeah, this is looking rough. Don't get me wrong, 21 SCVs killed is a big deal, but it would have been a bigger deal if Hero was on a competitive work account himself. All he's done now is even out that work account. Oh my goodness, Bio continues to pull back, the Zelts continue to come through. Bio continue to fight, just going to be seeing a couple of Zelts still going down. We're going to have the Prism, we can't get the Prism, no! 
Oh, he just couldn't get there in time, apparently. Killing the prison would have stopped that warp, and this would have simplified things, but it probably doesn't matter. At the end of the day, this is Maru with way too much stuff. Hero has to stop the attacks, but again, now Maru can go across the map and take advantage of the fact that Hero just threw away a bunch of units as well. Fire still stems up, Stalker's going to be going down, the battery falls, which means that this location is already not looking good. The DT gets cancelled as the Bio knocks down the pylon, and it looks as though Maui really has again just broken through with extreme success, coming all the way across the map. The Stalkers will continue to fall. He's losing SCVs again, but, yeah, I mean, that seems like a very minor thing. As long as he has the scans to be able to deal with Dark Templar, just do not see here it's really having enough for building. The missile turret nearby as well to start dealing with as well, so again, just everything you can. As the DT in the main base is going to be again, a little bit annoying. And need to scan here, so scans everywhere. They're the one problem that Maru has currently, but he's about to kill his opponent's third, which is absolutely more than enough damage to make for any SCVs that are being lost for him right now. The Brea Siege is up, those few Zealots still trying to charge through. The Brea still whacking away at each of those, those Zealots. The Dark Shrine also coming online. Stork is still being picked away at a couple of SCVs trying to lead the charge forwards. Final army here continues to connect and that prism continues to get chased out of there for now. Bio still pulling up, just going to be seeing the Bioforce going over towards the pylon and the gateways, just going to get across there. See the Stalkers and the Zealots continue to pull back as well, so they start pulling back through. And you see that Bio coming over, Prism loads up one more time. Heading back down to that bottom left side, so away we go, the Bioforce is going to be nearby. Marines are going to fire the Prism, taking quite a few shots, Zealots will be taking some hits as well. Bio comes back over, still seeing the Army moving about here as we go straight on through. Just gonna see the stalkers getting picked off still. I mean, again, this is Mara with way too much supply, and uh, more or less waiting for that to happen, the GG to be pulled. Maru takes it to a 2 1 lead, takes his first lead of the series. As, uh... Are you watching on YouTube? I thought you were. Not, not, not you people watching on Twitch right now. YouTuber viewers, you guys can be amazing. How? Well, you already are. But also, like and subscribe. Boom. Ring the bell, get notifications. What else do you see on YouTube in this day and age? Comment down below if you think Terran or Protoss is OP as hell. If you think the patch wasn't good enough. I want to hear it. Spoiler uh, disclaimer, I will not read your comments. But hey, if you comment, it means more people will see the video. Thumbs up. All right. Now back to the real casting, as we have Crimson Court, another of the newer maps... This narrow map. This map is very narrow, very easy to camp out on. And then it expands out a little bit as you start to take bases left and right through the mineral lines and through the rocks. Cracks a gate coming through for a couple of moments. We get settled down for a few moments. Seeing the probe moving about a little bit. Now we CC building up here on the natural, so we get that set to go. Also good. Settling down, getting a move on. And 
see now Dad moving about a little bit as well. It's gonna be seeing the Reaper still pinging, Zelda taking some shots. Damage being dealt for these early stages. Get ourselves ready to go as the Reaper and the Adept go back and forth with one another just for a little bit. We're gonna take a shot or two also, just for now. Another gateway out over to the other side. The devs still pinging away. Orbital taking some damage, so again, a little bit more damage being dealt, some shots being made. Reaper hops up to the high ground, is going to be starting to make its way through. We have another Reaper over here just going down. Grenade drops. A little bit of damage dealt. This is all continuing to add up for the moment as the early game plans out for the moment. Gonna see a few stalkers coming back through. Having a look to see what's up, see what's going on. This is going to be coming across. We're going to try and drop in here. One got burrowed up pretty much immediately. Settle down for the moment. This going to be seeing the other one of mine getting in. So I think I should drop looking decent here early on. Looking good for now. So far, so good. Beautiful stuff. And yeah, not too much damage done. Nothing too crazy so far. Stalker will continue to fight. Widow Mine will be taking a shot. It's going to be seeing Stalker's coming straight through. Actually, going to go for the bunkers. First bunker going down now. Tank sieging. Stalker's going to have a blink to get on top of that tank, though. That really does commit them through. So the bunker will get to live, and that means a lot more of the Stalker's going down. Oh, what a disaster for Hero! That jump through was not the play, not in the slightest, and that is going to be so very costly. Tank on the high ground will go down. Can Hero get enough up to keep this going? Because that really did not look pretty for him in the slightest. I mean, Hero, his supply is not looking pretty. Maru has so many Marines. Obviously, the issue here is typically just getting enough Marines to make something happen. I think that's uh, kind of where we stand right now, as we just have... Well, this Bioforce, I think, genuinely is at this stage just strong enough. Stalkers... I'm not going to be finding enough. Yes, he is still pulled off the line, but Mario is also up by 15 workers, so he doesn't need to keep mining with everything. He just needs to live. And right now, Mario is doing that exactly that. He is living, he is surviving, he is looking to maybe take the 3-1 advantage. There's a Widow Mine to the side there that did not get to go off just yet. Now it does get dodged, so that's nice for Hero. Not a problem. Siege Tank is going to be the last one for the moment because the Tech Lab got denied, so no more tanks can pop out of there anytime soon. We see in the uh, Stalker still getting chased away. At least the factory does live, doesn't even have to relocate just yet. But again, the tech lab build time is going to eat away at what could have been siege tank production time. Problem is, as tanks continue to stabilize now, I just don't think we've got the Stalkers to justify jumping on top of these tanks any longer. And so Maru's defense continues, and Hero just cannot find the gaps in Maru's armor. He just keeps on getting deflected. And yes, he, he kind of gets you know a scrape or two off on Maru. But he comes out with a gouging, you know, with a huge gouge out of his face or something after. Well, it's still going. I don't know why I'm trying to be so gruesome with my, uh... <laughs> with my explanations lately. 
as our zealots try and drop back in, the adept is going to be there as well. This is just not going to do much of anything. Not for now. Well, Barak's still coming by. Our stalker's still coming across. And Bio continues to join up. Medivac and the Raven hanging about just for now as well. So we got ourselves settled. Stalkers get a blink in. Raven takes a shot of damage. Medivac can help to push things back right there. All the early stages. Fire still coming through. Stalker's getting deflected. Pulsel's coming through. A couple of SCVs getting shot at. Damage still being dealt just for a moment as well. Continue to come through with this. Colossus getting jumped on. A couple of those Colossus shots coming through. Raven is going to drop a bunch of auto turrets as well. So a lot of auto turrets going down. The Colossus gets cleaned out. Stork is still going to be here. A couple of tanks firing away, trying to deal some damage back. Gateway is taking some damage as well as we continue to come through. Both those gates taking quite a few shots. Command center coming up on the line back at home. Aru's obviously just gone himself into the position to basically close this out. This does seem as though... Yeah, I blink forward is going to be a little bit of a sad affair. There's just not enough yet to really have justified doing that. And our stalkers keep on falling. The Colossus will sit on the natural to try and stay safe and stay alive. And somehow, some way, make something happen here. But right now, it just ain't happening. And unfortunately, that's going to lead us to trouble. As our bio continues to play the cleanup game, our Nexus will fall. And our bio will continue to just chase in for the stalker Colossus. Good fight, we chill. Just gonna be seeing our stalkers still coming through. Looking for the medevacs, I mean, even if you clean this up as hero, the losses are really a little bit too much to be looking at here. I mean, this is just costly. As we have our bio force still backing away, Colossi still coming through. Bio actually gonna turn back around, go for the Colossi one more time. Gonna get one, gonna look for the other. Just gonna grab that, and the stalker falls. And that's gonna be GG's. Maru takes game number four, and he's gonna be at a 2-1 lead. Alrighty guys, uh, we are straight back into it. We are not chilling out. We're not slowing down at all. That is for sure. As we get ready to go, go into this one. Maru and Hero, game number five. And uh, Hero is just going to put a pylon out in the middle of the map. So he's just going to go even more aggressive this time around. He's just going to go around for it all over again. And away we go. Oh, well, well, how about that, huh? How about that? And that rack's going down, refinery coming through, and a simulator coming into play as well. We start to get this all ready to roll out. Floor refinery's coming up on top of everything else. The SCV coming through also. And a little bit of everything getting set up for the moment. Probe fighting, SCV taking a few shots. Let's see, we're going to go back onto the probe as the probe try to get the SCV. SCV low and is going to go hiding away for the moment at least. As that SCV, yep, has to keep on dodging. <laughs> it does so for the moment at least. It's able to get out of there just for now. So far, so good. Well, Reaper's still coming about. We're going to have the Zealot still building up off the gateway as well, so we continue to bring that through for the moment. So again, a little bit of setting up on all of that. Cybercore Nexus building also. Fulcrum Wolfgate also in production here. The Nexus is on the way out as well. The Zealot is still producing through. And we are going to see this Reaper about to spot this gateway. No! Oh, yeah, it does. I was going to say, I was going to say, it's just going south. It was going to miss it, but it actually did get to glimpse it. So now you know there's a proxy gate up. Well, you're just going to be safe. High ground CC is already a step in the right direction. 
it is uh, obviously as well CC after the factory. So you've got an early cyclone as well. This already just feels through and through beautiful on the side of Maru. It really feels like he's got everything he could possibly want or need at the moment to defend against this. Reaper took one more shot there than maybe necessary, but we're still absolutely rolling high. I think Maru is absolutely fine with his current setup. As the SCVs will start to take some shots, grenade to buy us a little bit of time, whether the SCVs are not taking damage. Obviously pull SCVs back as they get low, so they do not go down. And the second Stalker shows up, but the Cyclone is moments away, and that is pretty much a pushback on this. We'll pull the SCVs one more time, the Cyclone takes a couple of shots, but just too much damage on the Stalkers for them to truly stand there and fight. Hero's initial aggression gets deflected. He did expand behind it. He's going Twilight Council now as well. He will have that forward gateway to still warp in from in some ways, so maybe he can still make use of it to some extent for these early stages. As we get ourselves settled in to play. Reaper, all the way back down the bottom left-hand side, we'll get set up once again. The Stalkers are going to be there. Reaper taking some damage. Grenade goes down. A couple of probes getting blasted around. The Reaper continue to get moved about again, just for the moment. And he's going to go down. Stalker gets there. Does a good job of it. So far, so good. Tank sieges, marines in the cyclone coming by. Again, just gonna be seeing the zealots. Continue to get into position as well. Things coming by, a robo in the probes, still producing in. Kind of that is still there also. And itself in play. I keep on moving around here for the moment. Is this live? Yes, everything you'll see today will be live. Everything you see today will be live. But in fact, just checks in. He's going to get turned back around. And Maru if you just joined us is on match point in this best of seven, guys. You know, it's been a quick few games. Heroes definitely kind of be bringing the aggression. Maru's been slapping it down and basically defending against it. So let's just see where we all end up. Stork is going to be there, turning stuff around as well. As we have ourselves the. Sentry just nibbling away. We've got the Stalkers moving about also. I'm just getting ready to rumble as our few Marines are going to join together. Going to begin to move around. Charge coming up. Getting that up and running. Again, extra gateways coming down also. So just continuing to get things out. Operational, etc. A few Marines also going to make their way forwards. Just for a moment or two. Stalker still moving about, charge is still coming up as well. So we can get all of this again popping. I kind of like what Hero has done because he's already got gateway presence in the middle of the map. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna walk, ro oh, walk. <laughs> I'm gonna rock the gold base. I don't hate that. Take the gold, try and you know be the aggressive player out of the map and get away with that gold. I mean, it's a very hero thing to do. Charge is obviously gonna allow you to do that in a big way. That prism is gonna be able to allow you to harass as well. So he's setting up to be able to make this work. I like it. It's uh, it's a way to justify the aggression. As the order turret comes down, no response there, so we just have to pull the probes while the order turret runs out of time. Order turret comes through, a couple of probes will begin to drop. Then everything getting picked off for the moment. As the prism pulls back around just for now as well. Stimpact combat shield and plus one all continuing into play. We get all of this up and operational. Just got ourselves the, again, couple of extra batteries also coming through now. And this medevacs boost around up through the top side, so also looking to get a move along over there. Nexus, the pylon, the couple of batteries continue to come in. The Nexus continues to come out as well. That gets shot at one more time. We are going to be seeing these are the medevac still coming through. We just have our stalkers back out in the center of the map. Nexus and the probes all in production, all coming in. I 
again with this uh, lack of aggression from here. It's actually been a much more chill early game. I thought he might be kind of aggro to kind of protect the gold, but Marin didn't do anything to kind of make a play on the gold anyways. So Hero just says, well, I don't need to try and do anything to a two-base Terran player. Of course, that is the thing. It has been two bases from Maru till now. Now he's moving towards the third. He'll be more open to attack. As Hero being able to get away with another immediately just jumps onto the uh, main base with the Zealots and the Prism. That's already a great start. Seven SCVs. Maru is not ready for it. And he pulls back home. And now Hero is chasing... And this is, again, exactly the moment where you can get a lot out of this. More Zealots warp in, going to threaten to have, you know, basically you need a lot to deal with Zealots. Because they're very tanky, Stalkers might just want to blink across. If we're going to fight this, we got to get rid of those siege tanks, which we will start to do. The Zealots start to run into the mines in the main base, which helps Maru with the cleanup. But Hero is getting so much done at the same time. Drop on the other side of the map. Maru is going to equal a lot of the pro workers killed here so far. But the problem is Hero is still looking for more, more while Maru, I guess, is still looking for more as well. Hero is just a warp in a way, though, from realistically defending this. The super battery will buy you a few shots of time as well. As you see, this Bioforce continuing to get going. Trying its best, trying its utmost, but I think it's going to be again to a point where it's just a little bit too much. Hero wins the game, slows it down, plays a little bit differently, and who knew? Top left, uh, blue Terran is going to be Maru in the bottom right. Our red Protoss is Hero. Okay, we're coming up. Rax and the gas coming through. And we got ourselves into game number six. CV probe coming about. We have the nipples starting through the cyber core is on the way. And now we take a few moments to figure out where things are going. As if he's chasing commands and it drops into place. And the next is going through the CC, getting set. Bunker gets settled. Again, factory coming up as well. We get that on the start. So again, a little bit of everything coming through for the moment. Uh, Bunker still coming up. While I cancel building, the Adept is going to begin to go out across to the upper left-hand side. This Reaper pops down into the main. And there's going to be a couple probes we can nip our way at. Start to do some damage against those right now. Adept commits through SCV, gets jumped on. So see a couple of units get back into the bunker there. The Adept going to start swinging away at the depot as well. And again, the Hellion and a couple more Marines continue up also right now. Reaper will try and scout, but the deflection is good. Stalker is not going to let anything be seen. And again, we are on the way to that blink. Just with one extra gate for the moment, would not be surprised after the way that last game went if Hero just says, you know what, okay, let's just play a slower game again. I don't need to rush out and do anything. I would really crumble at the moment that he tried to move out and I just had, you know, sat back and then we go from there. Adept gets chased around. Marine will clean the Adept up as it shaded through just to try and keep itself alive longer, try and pick up extra info. There's the Robo Facility. That means we're probably going to see an extra gate or so. There's actually now two gates on the way. So yeah, a little bit more. Yep, and there's a third gateway as well. So four gates total. So it is going to be a bit more aggression actually. So Hero is going to send it on the Blink Stalkers. Back to being aggro. Well, 
Hero just couldn't play two games in a row where he didn't attack for the first six minutes of the game. <laughs> it's Hero. It's Hero's permanent uh, debuff, you know. It's like if he plays one game where he doesn't try and attack, it's like the next game he just he just can't do it, you know. He just has to attack. He has to be the aggressor. Let's see how it works for him. See if the Link Stalker's gonna find the openings, the positions that they need. Get the job done. The few Stalkers already leading the charge to the front. There's a bunker there. The factory is going to be set to build a tank soon, I'd imagine. Two extra barracks on the way up, so we're quite a long way off any sort of upgrades in terms of stim and so on. But you get a Raven. Not always the most useful against the Blink Stalkers. But you got through these Stalkers and we get ourselves two SCVs and some Marines. Obviously being able to blink out of there to make this fairly cost-free is decent. He did save the other Stalker as well, right? As oh. Whoa. Well, that was some good last second splits to minimize the extra bits of damage that were about to be from the Widow Mine. Yeah, that Stalker did get out. So all these Stalkers live. The Widow Mine drop dealt with. So now you can go across the map. There's nothing holding you back here. Uh, the Stalkers would love to catch the Medivac, which does run out of boost just at the wrong time. The stalkers get the kill. And there really is nothing. I mean, the Medivac was empty anyways, but there's nothing on the map now for Maru. So you focus on going the other side. Tank is going to spawn very shortly, but there is a world where we could jump on that tank quickly as it spawns if we jump into the main. So this is a very scary moment. Okay, tank has just popped and is going to be onto the low ground. Stalkers, we'll see what's up with the prism there to provide vision. What you, I mean, he does have more stalkers still on the low ground. He only wants to commit in with what he can evacuate, though. The factory actually moved off of the tech lab, which means no more siege tanks. That would have been prime time to just keep on building stalkers and just sending it, which we are finally going to do. I think Maru misread this. I thought, I think he thought Hero was just being a bit passive with this setup. He does have the Raven across the map. But yeah, no tech lab is really, really brutal here on the factory because now no siege tanks. It's just going to be Marines. I mentioned, you know, those Marines are not going to have upgrades for quite a long time. Let's see if he's continuing to pull in. We do see our Marines continue to fight, but this is going to be stalkers able to micro their hearts out. You should never really lose a stalker in this situation as we get even more warped in. Then we can obviously send them up and Get those into the main base one more time. Oof. Not looking pretty at all. As you actually do recall a group of stalkers back to deal with the Raven. It does mean less power here. I'm kind of surprised. I really feel like we've got potential to just send it and win in the main base. We're double the army supply. I mean, I get it. The Raven's annoying, but like... We can win the game going into the main. Like, the siege tank has not been able to produce for a long time. There is a single Marauder. I think this is 100% just a send it and never look back kind of moment. Zelda's getting in here as well. so a little bit more tankiness here available for Hero. As we are just going to try and shoot down unit after unit. A few more Marines spawning into these Stalkers. We could really do with another warp in. But I guess that's on cooldown for a few more moments. The RGR is Maru going to buy ourselves the time to get to the Siege Tank. The army supplies are going to level out. Here are up 17 workers. Though he's killed a lot of SCVs in this process. He might not kill Maru, but he definitely puts himself into a leading position. So he definitely puts himself into a better place. When our blinks into the natural, obviously there's a tank, but there's only a tank in so many places, right? So you can uh, mix up the aggression and go a couple of different ways to try and get even more done right now. Hero's shaking, though. He's, he's feeling as though this is not going well for him as... Yeah, he's uh, not happy with losing as many stalkers as he did, perhaps. His army supply struggles right now, but again, he has a lot of workers lead. 57 to the 34. I can't believe he lost all those stalkers, though. That's obviously a, uh, a like I say, definitely a, an opportunity for Maru, because now the thing is as well in this situation, you don't really want to rebuild stalkers. You want to build them once and then kind of just be have them. You know, then they can continue to protect Colossi, move around, whatever else. The moment that you are having to rebuild Stalkers, they're just expensive. This Maru's just going to pull the SCVs. He's just going to go across the map. The Widow Mines going to end up going on the Zelts. Thought we might get the Prism. Uh, he's on the map, though. He did bring a bunch of the SCVs from the Natural across the map. Lost the Stalkers still gathering up. Extended Thumber Land still coming through. Fire coming over. Tanks as well. Have a little bit of a push coming through. Marine Marauder going to come in. SCVs are going to pull forward as well. We are going to have ourselves... Well, this attempted defense is honestly going to look good, I think. There's two Colossi that can't be touched with a super battery to protect them. I just don't see what Maru does. I mean, he's going to get a tank in position too. Super battery's going to run out. The tanks are now exposed. Okay. 
And becoming a believer. Another Colossus pops out. Another defense available on the natural as well. Maru really just on the scraps of this game. He does not have any reproduction available. He's got no SCVs basically. He is all in with this, and that is the problem is, you know, the Siege Tank is not going to be enough to hold its own anymore, not with any bio support, with, or not without any bio support in it, which is pretty much where we're at right now. As those Marines still go down, the Marauder still dropping. We charge through, and it is going to be Hero to win it, and that means it's 3-3. Three, three. And we Game 7, here we go. Maru, our Blue Terran player, takes on Hero, our Red Protoss. Game seven of our series. Well, First River can be, well, we definitely said it a few times, a very interesting map. SCV chases, the probe out, the probe gets pushed away immediately. SCVs are there, fighting against the probe once more, just going to push that back through to the center. SCV and the probe, just going to be fighting once again, probe nibbles at the SCV. Some damage done. Again, probe just being an annoyance as best you can be in the early stages, of course. back over. Again, Adept and the Warp Gate continue to produce on through. Let's we'll see our Nexus coming by as well. So again, the Nexus up. Again, Factory Command Center Refinery. Bit of everything coming in for the moment. Let's just see the Zealot chasing down the Reapers. So Reaper taking a few shots. Marine's going to be getting a few shots off as well. The SEV in the front there is going to just pull away. But yeah, Reaper and the Marine continue to fight against the Zealot, which continues to take some hits. So it will go down. Marines and the Reaper still fighting. And Depth still taking a few shots of damage. Out the bunker again, cyclone coming through about halfway done. Got shrine building as well. As you just have these couple of depths coming over, just gonna go and nibble at the orbital command for a couple of moments here. Cyclone pops out, gonna come across and go after some of those adepts. I see a gateway in the center, so Mary knows about the attempt to be aggressive here. That's fun because it's a gateway and we're going blink, but like without the robots, no prism. Knowing about that is big. There's no reason to proxy that gate if you're going to have the robo and the prism, so it means that you can just be a little bit more... You know there's not going to be like the four stalkers dropping with the prism, like that kind of hit squad. So it just plays a little bit differently as we now do see the robo facility coming up. So, hero. You realize that this is not all it's cracked up to be. Ends up gonna shade by again, siege tank still coming over. It's getting set up once more. 
gonna shade through one more time as well. Still gonna have ourselves like on the robot facility finishing up. That blink coming by. Full of assimilators. Pylon coming through. Raven tank, marine coming about as well. We got that all set up. So see a couple of devs gonna shade on through, but you're gonna get to the ramp and decide that, that is enough. Pop oh, lens back down. Barracks onto the tech lab again. We see our Robo Bay gateway is charged. Bit of everything continuing through here. The immortal still in production also. So again, just get a bit of everything on the way out. The cyclone. Locks onto the Adept for a couple of moments. Just going to get that going as well. For now. Do you need to get settled? Nexus, Colossus, Charge. Again, a bit of everything continue to come up for the moment. We get all of that going. As we have the Adepts going to try and shade into the natural expansion. It is an attempt to push on through already. Adepts going to come by once again. Marines will be there to deal with said Adepts. Still just trading. A couple of Marines getting pushed back. The Raven it's into place also. Thanks, we'll just siege up one more time. These stalkers continue to take position also. Thanks, siege up once more. We're going to be seeing the Bioforce still moving about. We have got Immortals, Sentries, and all the rest down to the bottom. Nero is ready to kind of jump on an army if it moves too far forward. So he's set up aggressively throughout this. Now his first Colossus showing up as well. Widow mine start to burrow. We do have the order turrets. Got taken down. A couple of widow mine shots. Coming through. Immortals continue to fight our stalkers. Blink across the other side. We're just going to be seeing the immortal goes. Huge on the tank. Huge on the marauders. These few marines still trying to come about as well. There's going to be a full cleanup here from Hero. He's going to push Maru back. Very well done so far. And this is definitely a good start. But it's definitely not terrible for Maru either. It's not like he traded out nothing for all of this. Problem will be is that Hero has a third base. He's not making huge use of it yet, but it's definitely the kind of lingering thought I think from Mario is that hey, he's on a third, so do I need to kind of really push forward quickly? Do I need to get across and do something? He loads up, and the medevacs are going to go across the map, so they are going to make their play out to the other side. Well, as he does that, it allows Hero to go forward. So Hero realizes that there's nothing here, so Hero's going to make his play. Oh, Maru's going to pull back home. He doesn't want to enter a proper base trade because he knows his opponent can just do a bunch of damage and then recall. So instead, he wants to try and jump on this army. So that's going to be the plan. Now we're going to try and just recall home. How much of the army can we kill? Doesn't get the Colossus. A few Zealots left behind. I'm not sure this was any better for Maru. That lift up and move was just punished. It was a risky one because the moment Hero realized it, Hero was able to take advantage of it. And Maru, I mean, that's bad. He just lost a bunch of SUVs basically for free. Only cost a few Zealots. Hero just again identifying the perfect moment that Mario left his base open, realized what he was trying to do, and like I say, just took full advantage. And now it is looking as though Hero is going to obviously be an absolutely killer position here. As, yeah, up a lot of workers. Doesn't need a rush in with the army. He's up a base for him, but he's actually taking a fourth. So Hero is in no rush. Just keep map control once again. We're going to see the drop. This time there's no recall, remember. So this time around you need to be heading back home or. This time the base trade might work. Mario does have an army supply lead right now, so this is probably his better shot. He's got a defensive tank, so if we move forward, he has so many sentries. Even his army supply is not actually brilliant. Okay, I mean, like I say, if there's a shot from Mario, this is it. Entering the base trade. We have a uh, single miss. Uh, Viking actually going to help to get rid of that first Colossus already. Depowers a bunch of stuff on the natural. We will have warpins available, but Hero can't move through, and Mario is making this happen. Hero. He fell to the same trick a second time, but he actually dealt with this trick the first time. Now he doesn't have the recall as a response, and... Yeah, I mean, Maru, the second time around, the same play actually works. 
And it's going to work wonderfully. What a devastating one for Hero because he had this completely under control. He was taking a fourth against a two base terror and he didn't need to be on the map anymore. Hero did not need to be on the map anymore. You can be on the map when you have the recall because it gives you that leeway. You can't be on the map when you don't have recall though. Eight more probes still coming about. The medivac still moving through. We have ourselves the two probes plus one attack coming through as well. Seeing our bio continue to fight. A couple of mortals still getting picked up. This is Maru just having way too much. 64 to 6 army supply hero. Really let that one slip away. Maru pretty much just lost the game. And then Hero decided he didn't want to win it. 